the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. This is the biggest size, like what we would consider a nursery fish. And the University of Florida. This is one that we'll bring back to the lab. Are conducting fish studies at some of the Southwest Florida Water Management District's Tampa Bay Ecosystem Restoration Projects. We're here at the Cockroach Bay Restoration Site in Southern Hillsborough County. We want to know how fast this fish is getting to be this size when it's ready to leave the area. The goal whenever we design a restoration or ecosystem creation project is to replace or mimic what would be naturally occurring in that area. This is another sport fish, obviously a juvenile. It's a sheep's head. We're really just looking for not only the sport fish, but you're also looking at the bait fish. The Tampa Bay Environmental Restoration Fund is paying for the research. Well, when they design these restoration projects, they create these tidal connections. They just want to make sure that the fish are able to get in and get back out freely. You just want to be able to have that natural movement that you would see in natural habitats as well. The overall hope is that they would mimic natural sites because they are trying to restore these impacted areas. This one is 103 millimeters. Researchers say they're seeing similar populations and growth rates at these restoration sites as they are in the unchanged natural environments. So far in my data collection we have seen that that is happening. We are seeing a the same amount of diversity at these natural sites as we see at the restored sites. Um, we are catching roughly the same amount of fish, the same type of fish, which is good. Um, and then we're also seeing very similar habitat types as well. The Water Management District built the right kind of habitat for common snook especially. We're finding them here, they're growing at the rates that they should be. So it's very encouraging. This is habitat that we need, habitat that we've lost. Now we have an opportunity to look at what's been created so that we can build more of them. They say it's a sign that the district's restoration projects, it's a golf killifish, are working. The results of this study are very encouraging. Knowing that certain components of what we have constructed in Terracia, Cockroach Bay, and at the Rock Ponds Ecosystem Restoration Project are functionally benefiting these fish species, we will take those design components and begin to incorporate them in other projects in the future.